Hello everyone and welcome back to another Luminar Neo tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to easily create beautiful autumn look for your portrait captures. We're going to use a few simple tools in Luminar Neo to create beautiful soft background, bright highlights and after that we're going to add special touch to make it all work together. So if you're ready, we're going to start right now. Ok, so moving into Luminar Neo where we're starting in a catalog module, looking at few examples of the look we're going to be creating today. So again, I have five images here and what we're going to be doing, we're going to be creating the beautiful soft background. We're going to be adding the nice highlight with a little bit of the glow. And on the top of it, we're going to add a little bit of color grading to create that beautiful popping autumn look. Now to do that, we're going to need some sample files, which are already here. And if you want to follow me along, all you need to do is to jump into the description of this video, follow the link there and then download the sample files now. Once you have them ready, get the image and import it into Luminar Neo. Then when you're ready, all we need to do is to move into edit module. Now looking at the image, you can see that I have already applied basic development to it. Nothing more than simple develop or develop pro tool with highlights, shadows, black and whites, contrast and brightness. Once you have that done, it will look like this. I mean your own portrait capture and we can move on creating the autumn look. First thing we need to do is to just balance everything and the easiest way to do this is to use simple enhance AI tool. To see it, you need to go into the main editing toolbar, essentials tool and here there is the enhance AI tool. When you click on it, it will open and there will be two sliders, accent AI and sky enhancer. AI. For us, we're going to use the Accent AI, simply increase it and you will see that as we do that, it basically balance all the brightness and everything together. But we don't want to overdo it, so let's just go somewhere around, let's see, 25. So that's that, nothing more than that. Let's close the Enhance AI tool and now we're going to continue. Now the first thing we're going to be creating is the beautiful soft background. The easiest way to do this here in Luminar Neo is to navigate to the bottom of the editing toolbar into the portrait section and open the portrait bokeh AI tool. Once we do that, let's make it nice and visible. You may see it like this without the actual background open, but never mind about that. What we're going to focus on is the amount slider. So just take the amount slider and increase it. To start with, let's go to 50 and let's have a look what's going to happen. Basically, the application scans the image and create a mask of the person or multiple people. For us, we just have the one person, so that's fine. And once that is done, it basically applies the bokeh look to the back of the image or to the background. So let's have a look at it. If we really overdo it, you can see how much the background is soft. Now it looks quite nice, however, we can make few adjustments to it. The first thing we're going to do, we're just going to fix this part here with the hair. So let's zoom in. We can do that using the wheel on our mouse or simple command or control plus. When you're already there, use a space bar, just hold it and then move around the image. And now let's have a look at the hair. The mask here is a little bit extra. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to the portrait bokeh. Select the defocus and very easily just brush over this area so it can become part of the background. I think just something like this will definitely do the job. Just zoom out and let's have a look again. Now it looks much better. Now it's up to you how much of the amount you want to apply. But for this specific look, it is the best to apply quite a lot. So let's go for 80. For the time being, we're not going to adjust the brush anymore. That's all good. So we're going to open the background section. Let's make it again nice and visible and focus on the other parts. Here we can adjust the brightness so we can make the background brighter or darker, whatever we want. But for us, we're creating nice, soft, bright background. 
background. So actually, let's add a little bit of brightness. Now, let's not overdo it. I think maybe, let's say around 15 or 16. The second slider will allow us to create the beautiful highlights glow. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take it and increase it. And as you can see, it takes the part of the background where there are highlights, like in this part, and basically adds a glow there, which is really, really nice. So let's go ahead and add, again, quite a lot, I think somewhere around 50. Now, remembering the examples early on in the tutorial, they were all quite warm. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the warm slider and add a little bit of warmth to the background. Now, we don't wanna overdo it, However, I think just a little bit, maybe, let's have a look, somewhere around 16 looks quite good. We're not gonna adjust the depth correction or edges correction, so we can close the background section, have a look at the before and after, and for the time being, we are done with the Portrait Bokeh AI, so we can close it and continue. With the background adjusted, we wanna add even more glow to the highlights. And this time we're gonna do it using overlays and layers panel. So let's navigate there, click on the plus sign and then click on load image. As a part of the sample files for this episode, you will get the overlay with the glow. So navigate towards the location of the sample files, select the glow overlay and click on open. It will be added into your my images section. So just click on it and add it. Once you have it on your image, navigate towards the layer properties where you increase the opacity to 100 and then change the blend mode from normal into the screen. With that being adjusted, we can now position it into the place where we want to. Now, let's just put it away. Looking at the image, we have a lots of highlights here and looking at the model, you can see that most of the light is coming from here. So we're gonna position the glow towards the source of light. So somewhere around here, we're gonna take it and position it there. Now, I would like to make it a little bit bigger. So we use the little dots in a corner of the overlay to do that. And now when I hover outside of the overlay, we can also rotate it. So let's do that and create something like this. Now, again, we can change the location. So we're gonna position it here. And again, we can make it a little bit bigger if we want to. So something like this. If you think it's a little bit too strong, you can always adjust the opacity. You can bring it down. And if you wanna change the warmth of the glow, what you can do is to go into the color tool, which is part of the essential section in the main editing toolbar. So essentials, color tool, and here in a color tool, navigate into the HSL panel. In the HSL panel, go all the way to the bottom and here use the hue shift and basically just move it around. If you move it one way, it will become a little bit more red. And when you go the other way, it will become a little bit more yellow. So if you prefer the yellow compared to orange, just add a little bit of hue shift, maybe just somewhere around six or 10, and that will look even better. Now it's a subtle change. However, when we look at the before and after, it actually works quite well. So we can close the color tool and we are done for this part. Before we're going to continue, what we need to do is to blend the glow and the original image together. Now, the easiest way to do this is to export the image in the highest possible quality. So let's go and do that by right-clicking on the image and selecting export. In the new window, we need to navigate towards the location where we want to save the image. I prefer to save it where the sample files are and what we're gonna call it, we're gonna call it mid edit. With the name adjusted and location selected, now we need to select our exporting options. Sharpening on none, resize on original, sRGB is perfectly fine and for the format, go on TIFF. Depending on how high quality of the image you want, you can choose something between 200 and 300. For me, I will just go for 200. Compression, leave it on LZW or pack bits, but I will go for the LZW. For the depth, let's go for eight bits and uncheck the save transparency. Once everything is adjusted, just click on save. Now the application will export the image then we're gonna import it into Luminar Neo 
and continue. So for me, I can go back to the catalog module and I have it already here. So I'm going to simply select it and then move it again into edit module. Once I do that, you can see I have the new glow, but all of it is on one layer. So everything is blended together. Now to continue, we want to add a little bit of that mystical look to the background to make it even nicer. Well, mystical look, the easiest way to do this is again to go into our main editing toolbar, into the creative section, and in the creative section, we're going to go into the mystical tool. With the mystical tool, simply take the amount slider and increase it. Now look at the image and now it's up to you and your artistic decision to see how much of it you want to apply. But for me, I'm quite a big fan of it. So again, somewhere around 20 or 30. Now for me, everything looks good, except I don't want to apply the mystical effect to the person, to the model. So how can we adjust this? Well, we're going to use simple masking. Let's go ahead and do that. And in the masking, we're going to use the mask AI, which when we select it, will scan the image and create automatic masks for us. Once all the masks are available, we have the human, flora, natural ground and man-made ground. Well, let's go ahead and select human. By doing that, it will create a mask for the human and the mystical effect will be applied only to the human. However, we want complete opposite. Well, now it's really easy. Back into the masking, then open the mask actions and simply select invert. And just like that, now the mystical tool is only applied to everywhere other than the model. One more time, let's have a look at the before and after, and it creates a beautiful look. So let's close the tool. And we have one more thing to do, and that's to blend everything together and make the autumn look really pop out. Well, how can we do this? The easiest way to do this is to use LUT in the mood tool. So again, back to our editing toolbar, creative section and mood tool. In a mood tool, we're going to click on a choose LUT gray dropdown box. And here we're going to click on add custom LUT file. One more time, navigate into the sample files where you're going to see folder called autumn portrait. So let's open it. And inside you will see three LUTs. These LUTs are coming from our autumn bundle, actually Luminar Neo autumn bundle. If you want to find out more about it and get LUTs like this, autumn presets, overlays, textures, backgrounds, and so much more, the easiest way to do this is to follow the link in the description of this video. Or to find out more about it, simply visit our website at cleverphotographer.com. However, for these three LUTs, they are yours, you can keep them, and you can use them on all your future projects. So with the three LUTs selected, let's just click on Add. With that being done, we can again click on Choose LUT, and now we have a new custom LUTs file or collection. When we hover over it, it opens and now we can hover over the LUTs here and basically see what look they add to our image. So it's up to you which one you prefer. The first one is quite warm. Second one is a little bit more natural. The third one, well, I think I'm going to go for the second one. With the new LUT selected, we can again have a look at the before and after. And of course that we can adjust the amount. We can apply less or more. And we can also adjust the contrast and saturation. Finally, with the mood tool being applied, we are finished with this edit. So to see the before and after, we need to go into the catalog where we're going to reset the original file. So now we have the original file and new file. Now we make it nice and big. So this is where we started and this is what we created. So just like that, we have created beautiful romantic autumn look for our portrait image. And before we finish, one more time, a reminder about our Luminar Neo Autumn bundle with over 700 autumn elements that will help you to transform your autumn images in just a few clicks. And just like that, we have finished with today's tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please make sure that you give it a like. And if you have any questions about today's topic, 
or Luminar Neo, then write them into the comment section under this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future content. For today, my name was Jacob Bors and I can't already wait to see you in our future videos.